So the conversion of the London taxi continues. One nice thing about this project is I can now run around collecting parts and materials using the electric saw and not burning up gas and oil in the process. I've also been using it to jumpstart regular cars recently, which is just kind of weird. In the news. A couple of Wednesdays ago, this appeared in our morning newspaper. Good news for EV drivers. And we all know what's happening in the other world. These graphs are actually from about the same period, too. I'm just going to leave that up there for a little while longer. And now, a Ford Mustang with a 5.0 liter V8 engine. Through conversation with several mechanics, I decided to use the transmission usually paired with this engine, the T5. From what I've learned, it sounds like this would be a good match for the taxi and the uh, Warp 11 motor. I eventually found one online at a decent price, which required my dad and I to take a short trip to West Virginia. Apparently, not many people have used this transmission in conversions, so I had to actually mail the bell housing, flywheel, and some measurements to the folks in California that would be fabricating the motor adapter. While waiting for that, I've continued to remove stuff from the taxi. I've also been thinking a little bit about weight distribution. And that was because you pulled me up. I got up. In a little while you pulled me up. My current plan is to put 28 lithium cells in the engine compartment and 22 in and below the trunk. Allowing for half inch insulation, I threw together a quick model of the front battery box. Having lightweight models of some of the larger conversion components makes planning a little easier. You can check things like hood clearance and see quickly how much space you have left for other components. Now, if only I had something about the same size as the motor, but weighed about 230 pounds less. Hey, wait. It 
looks like we'll have decent access to the low voltage terminals and room for the fittings and hoses required to water cool the motor controller. My friend John Yecker, who some of you met at Evcar, runs an automotive air conditioning business and will be installing the AC system for the car. We did some planning and evaluated the space we had to work with. I had wanted to find out the ratio of the rear differential, so John was kind enough to push the car while I clung to it and counted revolutions. 